Hi, Central Grade Artist. Mrs. Pulliam's ready to make another project this week. Our word to focus on is a collage. Hopefully you just saw those three pieces of collage. One of them was artwork by Eric Carl. Those were his painted pictures. And the second one was from Henry Matisse. He was a well-known collage artist. And the last one was by Romare Bearden, another um, artist who uses cut pieces of paper. And you even probably saw some magazines in there. So a collage is taking objects and putting them back together to make a new picture. It can be a collage from found objects, kind of like the color wheels we did. It could be a collage from scrap pieces of paper. It could be made out of fabric. Collage can be made out of many, many materials. This week, um, you'll need some magazines to make this collage. Scissors, glue stick if you have it, tape works too, um, markers, crayons, whatever you might have at home. So, pause the video, go find some magazines that are okay to cut and a piece of paper and the other supplies and I'll be back ready to demonstrate your collage. All right, here we go. I have my paper set up. I found this construction paper in my art room, so I thought I'd try it. And for this project, you can draw anything you'd really like. And what we're looking for is an outline. So it could be an outline of an animal, an outline of flowers, outline of food, um, outline of a car. You choose, but with your pencil, um, I'll use a marker so you can see. I'm going to sketch the outline of ice cream. So I think I'm going to start at the top with a rounded scoop. I'll add that and I'll add another scoop. Ice cream sounds good on a sunny day. And maybe I'll just do two. And I'll draw two diagonal lines down to connect. So there's the outline that I need. Now the next thing you'll need to do is start going through your magazines and looking for colors that might go into those spaces. So when I think of ice cream, well, I want something maybe for the cone. And I'm looking at some of these and, hmm, well, this is kind of a cool texture. So a couple of things, you can either tear it and attach it, almost like a puzzle, kind of overlap, lay those in there, organize, arrange. I'm just tearing. Some of you might choose to use your scissors. Try and cover as much of the background paper as you can. All right, let's see, looks like I need a couple. This is why I like tearing, because it's kind of easy for me to wiggle those in there. All right, well, I already have some pieces that I found. In fact, it was out of an ice cream cake ad. So I'll use those up here to fill in. Of course, these need to be glued. I'm just demonstrating where they could be placed, but you can glue them in there. And look at this that I found. It had a cherry with whipped cream, so I had to tear it out. Of course, you could always draw one too. How's that look? Hmm, don't know if I like that as much as I thought. Maybe I will just add the cherry and then take some of a darker color to put in there. Yep, that works for me. I like that better. Of course, you could add on to details. So maybe you wanted to draw an arm getting ready to grab the ice cream, or maybe you put a sign behind there that says ice cream. Obviously, glue or tape will hold any of this down. And here's a trick. If you put down the glue on the paper, whoops, running out of glue even at home, guys. Um, set it down after. So put the glue on the surface, set it down. Makes it easier than trying to glue those tiny, tiny little pieces. There you are, you wanna see another one. Here's a fish I made. I had fun looking for all the colors. I even added some coral and seaweed 
in bubbles. So if you make a picture, as always, send it to Mrs. Pulliam. I put together a video to share for the next time. Have a great day. Have fun creating.